Right now, we've got a very special guest to take us on a trip through the mysterious world of scam baiting. So scam baiting is the process of luring in a scammer, either online or on the phone, and using their own tricks against them. We have an expert here on the topic, but before we talk with him, watch this. Hi, sir. My name is Carolina Fernandez. I am calling you from the Microsoft. Oh, hi, Priya. Yes, How everybody. many names do you know? Sir? Everybody. Tell me the name. Everybody. Tell me, my, tell me my colleague's name. I'll okay. tell you one more name. One will, by I one. will I tell you one more name? Yes. Suhini. Yes. Suhini. Jim Browning is the alias of an online investigator in Northern Ireland. During the day, he spends his time as a software engineer. But after dark, he is what is known as a scam baiter. I would describe it as the art of taking a scammer off their script. A lot of scammers do use scripts because they're very effective. But what I do is I lead them down my path instead of theirs. When Jim receives the call, the game is on. Using his experience in IT, Jim is able to gain access to the network of a scam call center. And usually, or quite often, I can actually see their computers. And when I can do that, I can possibly see them, hear them, and actually dig into their scams and work out who they are. Many times, Jim is even able to tap into their security cameras. I have been able to not only speak to a scammer on the phone, but whilst I'm on the phone, watch them on their own camera system, which, as you can imagine, leads to quite a few funny incidents. Jim is one of many scam baiters across the world who are turning the tables on predatory phone scams. The piece of advice that I give to everyone I meet, again, about scams is, I think in just two words, be skeptical. And while he is able to slow them down for now, they are still out there waiting for you to answer their call. Unbelievable. Please welcome to the show, Jim Brown. Yes. Thank you. Wow. Hi, folks. Sorry for the disguise, by no. the way, but I kind of do that for my own safety, really. As, yeah, as you should, as you actually. It makes you look really cool. You look super yeah. cool you as well. Already look, you already have like a modern superpower. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I don't know about that, but thanks for having me on anyway. Absolutely. You are a hero, and our uh, chat is just lit up about you. How are you able to do these things, like breaking into a call center's networks and their cameras, and how do you protect your own identity? Well, protecting my own identity, I mean, partly, obviously, the disguise is one thing, but particularly for me, I don't use any of my real details. So Jim Browning isn't even my real name. Wow. And when I engage with scammers, even on my computer, I have fake documents, and it kind of lines up with the identities that I want to give them. A lot of times I use a voice changer, wow. so they think they're speaking to an old woman. Mm. And Smart. I do the things that maybe an older or less computer competent person would do. I make all the mistakes you would typically see like an older person might make. So I do lead scammers into a false sense of security. Wow. You, you, well, you, I, the hunter becomes the hunter. Absolutely. And speaking of hunting, you've done it all over the world. You've worked scams across the globe. So I have to ask you, which one stands out? Well, there's a few, but I would say the one that really sticks out is when I collaborated with another YouTuber. There's a guy called Mark Rober, who I think if your kids probably, if you're asked who that is, they will know him wow. as the person who goes after porch pirates. So uh, the people oh, yeah. who steal packages off doorsteps, he over-engineered a solution to that. And what he did was left a package which was full of cameras and glitter yeah. particularly. And what we did was we took those same packages and did a few pranks in a scam call center. I think you're looking at some of the footage here. What? And among other things, we put blue dye into the soap dispenser. We had a little package full of rats and cockroaches on a time delay, and we delivered some of these glitter bombs. So the footage you're looking at here is part of the pranks that we played. Now, obviously, scams are a serious business, but we had actually contacted the police, and the police did very little. 
So this was our way of highlighting the scams and kind of getting one back on scammers. Good it was for really you. good. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. You're officially like my new favorite person. 100%. Okay. 100%. We have but like scammers, scammers have their own way too often. And it was kind of nice to get a little bit of revenge on Absolutely. them. Absolutely. For all of us. Okay, we have a little less than a minute left. What is the most rewarding yeah. aspect of your work? I would say just getting the message across about scams, that for me is probably the most important thing. If you understand how a scam works, and you can look at the various videos on YouTube to really understand it. And a lot of people write to me and say, look, I've been able to catch a scam on because I've seen some of your videos. It's not just about pranks, it's about revealing the tricks that the scammers do. And because of that, people are able to recognize the scam early and prevent it. So for me, that's the most rewarding part of it. Wow. Jim, this has been fascinating, and you are, in your own way, definitely saving people's lives. Thank you. To Evil Nation, <laughs> check out all the wild scam baiting action at Jim's YouTube, at Jim Browning. Thank you again, Jim. Appreciate Thanks. it. Hero. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you.